talk about the rush defense because rush defense. that's real. And and by the way, can it be sustained? I think so, because the, part of that is scheme, which it seems like the Lions figured it out dating back to last year. And the other part of that, and there's the graphic. Shout out to Lucas, top run, top five run defense in the NFL through the first four weeks: Detroit Lions, Philly, San Francisco, Tennessee, and Cleveland. Man. And by the way, back to what I was saying about can it be sustained? I do think it can because part of it's scheme, but the other part of it is guys knowing their or knowing their role, knowing their job. And I think it took a year, but everybody finally knows their job. Ali McNeil said it said it best. Like this year, they know what they're supposed to do. There's discipline. In every game, they've shown they can stop the run, no matter who's at running back. And we kind of went through it yesterday. Who they faced their running back? Isaiah Pacheco, Kenneth Walker, Bijan, and Tyler Algier. Aaron Jones and, and, and A.J. Dillon, who's mid right now. Or below mid, actually, A.J. Dillon. He's had a terrible year. But what this defense has done against those guys, that shows me it's, it's real. Now, if they were shutting down no-name running backs and shutting down bad offenses, I'd, I'd understand that. But we're talking Seattle's offense. Pretty damn good. They shut down Kenneth Walker for the most part. Didn't have any big plays. Isaiah Pacheco, who runs like he's pissed off. Yeah. Runs like he's pissed <laughs> off. Like somebody took his lunch, his lunch money. They stopped him, and they slowed him down. It made Mahomes lead their team in rushing. So I think this can be sustained. Is it going to be the number one defense in the NFL? Maybe not. But th- will there be top three at the worst top five? Yeah, I think so. I, I do. I think so. I think this could be sustained. And that's all credit to Aaron Glenn, by the way. Huge credit. Yeah, and I would say that, you know what, I'm going to kind of go through this in real time, like whether or not it can be sustained or not, because I think there's good arguments for and against. And when I mean sustain, I mean number one run defense in the NFL. I certainly think they've done enough to where, at worst, they're probably going to be top 10 by season's end. But I actually think they could be better than that because... We cannot overstate the running backs that they have just basically completely rendered ineffective this season. Isaiah Pacheco against the Lions, eight carries for 23 yards, 2.9 yards per carry. You know what objectively his ne- his like next worst game was? 15 carries for 62 yards, 4.1 yards per carry, and a touchdown. You could say the same for Kenneth Walker. His worst game of the season was 17 carries, 43 yards, 2.5 yards per carry against the Detroit Lions. And his second worst game of the season was 12 carries for 64 yards, 5.3 yards per carry. And no, I'm not going to include the touchdowns for against the Lions game because they were both one-yarders. Bijan Robinson against the Lions, 10 carries for 33 yards, 3.3 yards per carry. Objectively, his second worst game of the season, 10 carries for 56 yards, 5.6 yards per carry. And then Aaron Jones against the Lions, 5 carries for 18 yards for 3.6 yards per carry. And the game that he had, the other game that he played, 9 carries for 41 yards, a touchdown down 4.6 yards per carry we're talking about four running backs that i believe will all maybe not aaron jones but i believe in him as well that might all get a thousand yards at, at, at season's end but they have basically been rendered useless by the detroit lions rushing defense